Hello, good afternoon everyone. Thank you for coming back to join me today. Um, I just wanted to share with you where I've got to with my tag journal book and I need to make an apology to you because um, I did a video showing how I'd put the, how I'd hinged all these tags together and I did follow Trace's um, system that she used. But for some reason, um, when I uploaded the video, it didn't upload and it seemed for some reason the video that I'd recorded had corrupted somehow. I, I really don't know. I'm not very technical. Um, so I can't demonstrate, I can't show you how I did this on the actual one. Um, but what I'm going to do is obviously I'll link Trace's video below. But I'm going to demonstrate to you um, roughly how I did it. Um, and then we'll have a look at what I've done. I was very pleased how it turned out, I have to say. Um, and if you watch Trace's video, you'll see that she held a breath for me while she did hers. <laughs> so the way that I did it, as I say, I followed Trace's um, system and I'm going to show you what I did. So she had, Tracy had five tags. Um, and as I think I said to you in the previous one, I ended up with six. Oh, and by the way, I did find the tags that had gone walkabout. I'd scooped them up with some papers as I was doing the video. So three pieces of fabric measuring. I've gone the same as Tracy. So I've gone three inches wide. Let me just cut those. These won't be wasted because um, I'm quite keen to do a couple more of these tag journals or tag books. I've really, really enjoyed the challenge. So I've gone for um, a medium weight canvas and this is um, I've tea dyed this previously um, and it's quite it's quite stiff. It's not a floppy fabric. And I thought that might be easier to work with um, than a soft fabric that moves a lot. Um, but use what you have. So I've got three pieces and that's going to give me enough to hinge my six tags. OK, so laying the fabrics on top of each other. So that they match. I'm just going to pin them together. And then the way that Tracy did it and the way that I did it is because this is three three inches wide oh I'm sorry height wise I've done six and a half because that's roughly there to there so I've measured it from um, from the straight bit of the tag so from there to there for me is uh, six and a half inches um, so that's how high I've cut my fabrics the middle of the tag or the middle of this fabric I beg your pardon is an inch and a half so if I put a pencil line down there, just so that I've got something to sew against, that's going to be one and a half inches on each side. So I am just going to literally go and stitch down there. So one minute in okay, case so that didn't take me long, did it? So as you can see, I've stitched down the middle of that. So that gives me three pieces that side and it gives me three pieces that side. And this stitching is what you can see down the middle there. Now, the way that Tracy did it, um, and I, I did it the same, but slightly differently because I, I, I couldn't get my head around it quite. I measure things, um, being a quilter, I think measuring dies hard. It's hard sometimes not to. So excuse the reflection in there. From that stitch line, I measured a quarter of an inch and put a pencil mark. Now, you're not going to see that pencil mark because it's up to that that I'm putting the tags. So for the two centre ones, because we st I started in the centre, so that's going to be the middle of my book, of my tag book, which for me is here. So you can see the stitching down the middle. This, this stitching is that. And I put my tags a quarter of an inch apart. Now, when I came to do the next ones, I was thinking about how you do a, a spine for a book or a journal when you make one. And I'm thinking I need to leave a little gap between this one and this one so that that can fold over it. And then again, a little gap so that this one can fold over, if that makes sense. 
so what I did in my in my madness was so for the center one I did so that's center and this gets glued in so for the next two I folded it again folded the that over and a quarter inch plus an eighth so that's three eighths so it's just that little bit further apart okay and then on this one which is the front cover or the front one so that's an inch and a half I did a quarter I did one and I'm just going to give that a little fraction more as oopsie daisy as well and I'm just going to draw that line and then I'm going to do the same on the other sides so for this one it was um, one and a half a quarter of an inch plus an eighth so three eighths so it's just that little bit further out than that line not a lot it's only a fraction and I don't know if it made a difference or not to be fair so one and a half, a quarter, and one and one. So that's going to be the front and back. So these are the centres. That's the back. And that's the front. Can't even spell look front. Okay. Centre. Next one. Back. Front. I don't think it matters where you start from. I don't know if it does or not, but I did the same as Tracy and I started in the centre. So if this was my centre tag, what I did was it's going to go, you're going to be gluing it over that piece of fabric. So that piece of fabric is going inside the tag. OK, so the way that I did it, the, the one that you've decorated. So when it's closed, the open hinge is obviously towards the fabric. So this one is the one that I put glue all the way down there. Some nice glue that you know is going to stick. I lined this up with the bottom of the fabric and I lined this line up so that it was on that pencil line. There. And I glued that on. Okay. And I flipped it over got the other two out the way, put glue all over here and closed it up so that then you've got that gap so that when you turn it back over your centre tag is on like that and the fabric is glued on the inside and then you do the same with this one so the other one that's that you centre you do exactly the same and you glue it on up to that line fold it over the back and glue the back of the tag on and then you do the same with the next one and the same with the front one just check in as you go that you've got them the right way around and then i stitched all the way around them so that they are also stitched all the way around and i hope that makes sense but i will um, link trace's video below and i'm so sorry that my my video failed completely so what i ended up with i hope you can see okay we've got another day here in the uk it's it's just rained continually today it hasn't stopped um so this is my tag book so i've got a spine if you like to call it that on the back and i've got the pages that i decorated so we'll have a look through and see what i did and there's little bits that i need to still do on it i think i want to put a um a hole in there and hang a a dangle on it so we'll kind of go through it as we go through it shall we oh. Got my little grommets so make sure I'm not going to punch anything from behind and I want that to be enough room I always worry that I'm going to put these too close to the edge so I'm going to have to put it in a little bit, aren't I? Making sure I don't put anything behind. I didn't want to go through the stitching, but I'm worried that I put it too close. I'll do it, Carol. You've done it now. That's it. You've committed. 
Where did my little bit go? Oh, it's there. I do hate these croc crocodiles. Crocodiles. There we go. I get confused every time I use them. Tighten that. Oh, it's tightened nicely. Sometimes they just don't seem to want to tighten up, do they? So that's on there. So I'm going to put a dangle. I did find some. I don't know if they're going to be too big. Oops. Oh, it's just a pin, isn't it? Oopsie. Got a pin stuck. So I've got these um, bulb, bulb pins. I've got a butterfly there. And I don't know if the butterfly is going to be too large. I've probably put it on back to front. I don't know if there is a right and a wrong. No, I've got it the right way around. So I've got the butterfly hanging on there off that dangle. And then I've got a little heart hanging off one of these ball chains up there. Um, Dorothy Gray was the husband of Mr. Gray. I can't think of his... I can't think of his first name off the top of my head. Um, I wanted to put that on there. But I think I'll glue that when we finish. So that's going to glue on there. So that's going to be the front. OK, so I'm going to glue that on in a bit. Let me just find a little. Um, I've got some words I wanted to use. Found it. I just didn't want it to go missing. It's been floating around the, <laughs> around my desk all day. So I think that apart from stitching that on there is that bit's done. On the inside here, we've got a tag that comes out. So that was decorated. I've just put some little papers in there and you can take that off um, when you've written on all those papers so that can come off and then that just clips on there with that. Uh, is it a bulldog clip? I think it is. Um, this one is a tuck spot that we had there and I found used one of the photos that were pictures that was in the um, book that I used and if you remember um, the book that I used is the cottage book, Sir Edward Gray, that's his name, Edward Gray. Um, and he was a politician in the 1800s. He knew Winston Churchill um, and I think he had a very good life. So that's one of the cards, uh, one of the uh, photos in the book. And I've just put some extra journaling space on there. So dates from the book. So that goes in there. So that's those two pages done. This, I think I need to maybe find something to to clip that. I don't know. I don't know what I would use. A little clip. I'll have to have a look and see if I can find something. I've got some of those little Tim Holtz ones somewhere. This is the envelope that flips. So I've put a journaling card in there. That's one of the church the churchyard at Twyford. And that envelope I made out of one of the book pages. And then there's another one of the photos. And I've, again, I've put some paper on the back of that and the image of the children there playing outside of a cottage. So that's that one. This one is um, a pocket again. And there's one another one of the images there. I really struggled with this tiny little paper clip. I couldn't get it to stay on, so I think it's on now decorated one of the journaling cards these journal cards are from uh, Tracy Fox's um, and Andrea they did a collaboration where they did tags was it called a tag fabrication um, so I've used I've used the bits and pieces from those and I put one of the photos that was in the book and then I just had this little envelope here and I've just put some little tickets and, and things inside there so they go in that pocket there and then just some lace on the top of that. Then this is the centre of the of the um, journal. So that's where the stitching is. And this I did as a flip, the same as Tracy did, and left some space on there. Um, and I decorated it. One of the Tim Holtz ladies is on there. Um, and I just decorated them with the paper, put the fabric hinge on. That's the fabric hinge on there with one of the um, gentlemen from, I think that's from Artie Mazer's, um, one of Artie Mazer's photos, I think. And then I've put a little journaling card in there. 
and I think we could have a, a thingy on there as well, couldn't we? A little hanger. So I'm going to put another, as I go through and think about it, on there. Get that pushed in. Make sure I've got that the right way around. Good exercise putting those in, isn't it? That's gone in nicely as well. So I can put another dangle on there. I've got a couple of dangles I could use. So I've got a little flower. I think that might not show very well, though. We'll have a look. So it's a little tiny pink flower. I don't know if you can see it. I don't know what that would look like if, if it was on. I was trying to look for things that were um, naturey. So that's a little flower on there. So I'm not sure if I like that or not. And the other option that I had, I don't have many charms and things. Um, this is old, old jewellery that I've taken apart that I found in a charity shop. Um, this is a little swallow. And I just thought that might be appropriate with it being the book was about farms and the nature and where they lived. So that's a little, a little swallow on there with a ball underneath it. I think I prefer that, so I'm, I think I'm going to leave that bird on there. I think I've put it on back to front, but never mind. I'll, I'll swap it round in a bit. Oh, and that's quite relevant, isn't it? Because I've got house martins or swallows sat there, so I think I'll definitely leave that bird on there. Then that page turns over, and then we put the fabric on there. There's a little belly band, and it did get stitched in. It got stitched in there and again there's just some extra paper there and that unfolds to be a sheet of A4. So you can see although it's little there is places to write in this. And that lady sits out there, little basket of strawberries there and another journaling card in there. That just pops in there. Um, a tall pocket in here and again that's a, an image from the book. And then this was just a photo that was in the book um, and that's in the garden that they had. And it says Dorothy sitting in the cottage doorway looking from Grays Bridge uh, taken just after the cottage was built in 1890. So I think they built a cottage um, just to use as a like a fishing lodge. But I think they actually moved into it and enjoyed the time there. And then here on the back, I've done like a double pocket. So I've done another Tim Holtz girl on there. I thought I might put something on the top of that. Something lacy, do you think? I don't think these scissors are particularly good at all. I think I might put her on there. Her. I might put that lace on there. And I think I'm just going to use the Tim Holtz attacher for that. quite flimsy lace actually that it doesn't want to does not want to staple does it <laughs> it's catching all the time not such a good idea hold on one moment okay that lace did not want to um be stapled on so I've just stitched a bit of lace on there and that just fits there behind that little girl like that and then we've got this larger tag that goes I put um, some fabric tape on there and then that just fits behind there and I didn't know whether to put something on the back of that or whether to attach it I think I might put it on that one actually one more okay I've just put a tab on that one as well And then on the back, we've got Edward Gray. Um, and I think what I thought with that is I've, I've got um, the title of the book, the Cottage Book 1904. And 
I had. Hmm. Oh, it's here. Some more of the little buttons. And I thought I might put that on so it matched the front. So I'm going to put those, the front and back buttons on at the end. So I'm going to leave those to the side so I don't forget to do it. I'll hang on to that so I don't lose it. Now, what I'd also thought I wanted to do was in the middle, I thought it might be nice to put a little journaling space or just some little papers. So what I'd done was... I just picked some papers, some of the book pages out of the book I was using. I've just got some scrap papers, um, old book page, um, just some tea dye papers, a little bit of the book that I had left over, just odds and ends, an image from the book, just bits and pieces, odds and ends. And I thought I could put that in the centre there. But I don't want to stitch it in um, because I thought it would be nice to be able to take it out and then whoever has this can change it. So it does fit, I don't know if you can see, but it does fit in there okay. So what I'm gonna do is I am gonna stitch these pages all together on my sewing machine and I'm gonna tie it into the book. So I'll just go and stitch this. Okay, so I've just, I've just stitched those together. So literally they are just odd pieces of paper that I'd had laying around. Um, this book page I've just turned up so there's a pocket at the front and there's a little pocket at the back. Um, and I've just got some tags that I've got left over. So I think I put, put a tag in there. And then I think these were from Artie Mays, one of her kits that I'd got printed out that I've not used. Um, and I thought I'm just going to put them in because it's just extra little journaling space and they've, all, they've got flowers on so it's it's in the right theme. So they're going to go in there and then I am just going to tie that in. I am honest, don't quite know how. I've pulled out some bits of sari silk. Um, oh and it does, it does fluff doesn't it? So my thought was we can just tie that can't we at the top at the bottom maybe at the bottom I'm not very good at tying things I don't want to pull it too tight because I don't want to pull that fabric too much is there enough there to do it in a little knot and a bow Probably looks funny it being a knot and a bow at the bottom. That should be at the top, shouldn't it? <laughs> oh, you nana. Right. Flip it round. Flip it around so that you've got top and bottom. That's better, isn't it? A bit fiddly. It's not an ever so long piece, is it? Where am I? Right, that's the middle. So if I lay that flat... Get my two ends together. Could somebody just come and put the finger on the on the sari ribbon for me a moment? Does that need to be? Am I being too fussy? Does it need to be flat? And then, as I say, that little booklet can be taken out and it can be, you know, changed over and swapped for something else. I quite like that. So what do we think? So we've got the dangle there that's the butterfly. We've got all the journaling cards are in. It's it's squidgy, it feels nice. I don't know if I gave you sizes for what I made mine. So it was four by seven and a half. Um that was just the size that I cut my tags. That goes on there like that. And then I think, just tie that round there. In a little knot and a bow. Just to hold it closed. What do we think? So I'm going to still put these on, 
but that I think is what it's going to oh sorry I hope you can see it let me just move you up a bit so I hope you can see that okay so we've got the butterfly on there we've got the swallow we've got Mr Grey on the back we've got the little journal book tied in there love it so that's that's my little tag book my five tag challenge that turned into six. So I hope you like it and I'll see you soon. Take care, folks. Bye.